Is there like pressure to like always have the quippy tweet? So it's a weird thing. Like there at this point, yeah, there's kind of a pressure. Like <laughs> I'll go to tweets and I was like, oh, is that too stupid? Like whereas <laughs> before I literally was just any dumb thing that popped in my head. Yeah. And I'm like second guessing myself, but <sighs> it's the worst. I remember I was watching um, the Lady Gaga documentary and she was um, with um, Florence Welsh. Is that right? Um, from Florence the Machine. And she was like, I don't know how you just post on your Instagram. There's all of these people on there. Like, how do you just frivolously put something out there? And yeah, I feel like once you have like a certain amount of following, you're like, oh my God, people are actually like listening and paying attention to this. That you're like, do I post this? I don't know. 100%. That's exactly what it's like. It's like, oh, they're actually paying attention now. So <laughs> maybe this will go to drafts. I'll <laughs> oh shop my God. <gasps> Can we just dedicate this entire podcast to your drafts on we your Twitter? We probably could. Oh my God. There's probably some really great stuff on there. Um, okay. So then you like also have to mesh in like your Instagram in these like sexy photos, <laughs> putting those out there. Like what goes into the sexy photo shoot, putting it out there because I'm like, Anytime I take a picture that I'm like, is this kind of a little bit sexy? I kind of freak. I'm like, people don't want that from me. And I, I feel like I always get in my own head about that. And that's definitely some of your own head stuff. Because okay. like, because you're you're gorgeous. People definitely want that from you. Oh, I, you. I promise you people want that from you. But I totally get that feeling because I have the same thing. I'm like, nobody. Like everyone thinks I'm like their sister. So they're like, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, nobody wants to see that from me. But then I'm like, I think they like do. five people probably want to see that from me. But at the end of the day, I do it for me. Yeah. It's kind of like, all right, I thought this was cool. I'll put it out there. Do with it what you will. Yeah. Like people are always going to talk trash. So I'm going to give them something good to talk trash about. People sure love to talk a little trash. I didn't think that we were going to get into this so early on in the interview. But here we are talking about a little trash. Um, I mean, let's just address the ringside news bullshit. Yeah. That happened recently. Um, what is like your reaction to somebody I guess like somebody having that opinion and so blatantly putting it out there and being so ignorant, like how, like how, how was your reaction to, to that? I laugh because at this stage in the game, it's all recycled jokes. It's nothing right. I haven't heard before. Um, it, you know, sometimes it stings a little, sometimes things seep through the cracks. It can be a little challenging, mm -hmm. but for the most part, these are some very uncreative people. Hey, anybody out there listening, let me help you out. Uh, a good joke would be the fact that I just recently wrote an issue of X-Men. So who better than to write the X-Men than an X-Man? Oh! See, there you go. You want some original <laughs> material? Why do I have to help you hate me? You guys are so unoriginal, so not funny. Like, yeah. so, and guess what? Now you can't use that one because I took the power away. <laughs> Give that writer's credit, suckers. So it was it was really weird. It felt like it felt like there was like some world star, like a good yes. hood fight going on, and you're sitting there watching it, and then you just caught like a wild punch to the face <laughs> because he's going in on TK for whatever reason, and he's like tweeting at him, just like these angry, hateful teats at Tony, and he's like blah 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 and Nyla, and I'm like, Whoa! Hold up. Like, what did I do? I just got here. <laughs> I just showed up to this party. Yeah. Everybody leave me alone. So it was it was pretty awkward. So crazy. Um, to that, and then you know, there was the incident with the fan with the sign in the crowd. Um, which is great that security kicked that person out right away. What's like the fallout for something like that? And like what what was like that day like for you having something like that? That one that was a little weird because it's like you, you definitely want the fans to come and express themselves and have a good time. And yeah, at, at its core, wrestling is the two people in the ring, but it takes so much more than that to create a match, to create a show, right? Because yeah. if the audience, the audience is, is absolutely important. They're integral. They're, they're the fourth person, if you will, because without them, it's just practice. Mm -hmm. It's just training, right? Yeah. So you definitely want them to have a voice. But like I always say, hate me for the right reasons. Sure. You know, and it's like, let's leave the comedy to the professionals. hundred <laughs> percent. You know, and it's it's like, I get what you were going for, but you totally missed the mark, bro. Yeah. And it's it's just, uh, it, don't, don't be ignorant. What's, what's like the reaction from like everybody else in the back? Like once you got to the back after having dealt with that? And I mean, I know everybody came to your defense. So yes, uh, a lot of people 
super amazing, incredible family support vibe backstage. Everybody top to bottom. Um, <laughs> I don't, I don't know, but if, if he wants this out there, but um, let's let's say a a founding member of the House of Black. Okay was was very very supportive in the most gangsta way possible <laughs> and i did not see that coming like i totally saw that coming from his personality like if you really know him uh -huh. but like the way he did it he was like he he was stretching getting ready for his match and i had just come back from mine and he like walks up to me like real intense like he's like hey what was that sign out there and i was like oh this way he goes yeah f that guy f yo f that guy and, like, he's like going hard and i'm like okay yes. Okay, blacks are ride or die. Like, okay. If if I Respect. need if I need somebody on the squad, I know who to hit up. All right. So God bless him. Now that that made me Im immediately switch the vibe for me and just lifted me so yeah. high.